The Virgin Hyperloop promises a 17-minute trip from Austin to Dallas, but is it the future of transportation or just a pipe dream? Think of the Hyperloop as one of those tubes you find at a bank, except in this case, you're the deposit. Here, a pressurized tube would stretch from Austin to Dallas. Inside is a pod for passengers. The tube is sealed and most of the air is sucked out. This is important because without air resistance, the pod can travel faster. Magnets would then pull the pod along at 670 miles per hour. A bubble of air would then form below the pod, lifting the pod off the track and further lowering any resistance. And then BAM! You're launched to Dallas. According to the company, the pod would gradually gain and lose speed when it departs and arrives, making it feel more like an elevator and less like a roller coaster. So is this all theory? Well, yes and no. There is currently one working Hyperloop in the world, located in Nevada, but it's only used for testing. The first commercial Hyperloop is scheduled to be completed in 2020 and will run from Dubai to Abu Dhabi. There are currently 10 other Virgin Hyperloops in development, including the Texas Hyperloop that would stretch across the eastern half of the state. There are some safety concerns. According to Dr. James Powell, the co-developer of the Maglev train, if the pod hits a bump of just three quarters of a millimeter, it would lead to catastrophe. Even if the tube is built perfectly. The earth shifts over time, so constant maintenance would be required. Engineers are looking for ways to protect against these issues. Until then, we won't know if that quicker trip to Dallas is really worth it.